Alrighty, so you're going to create a selfie. So you're going to take a selfie of yourself with your mask on, and then you're going to upload it here in the Pixlr. To do that, you go to Open Image, and you'll need to find your picture on your Chromebook. So depending where it saves, uh, sometimes you go to Recent. So I'm going to open my photo here, and there's my selfie. Um, you can zoom in and out up here in the top right-hand corner. So zoom out, zoom in. Um, if you have a mouse, you can scroll in, scroll out. So I wanted to show a couple things you could do with this program. So to do your math selfie, you are going to create some kind of fun graphics and things that you can use. So I wanted to show if you want to remove your background. So I know a lot of us will have something school related in our background, and that's not quite what we want. So you're going to want to go to scissors, probably. And there's a couple ways you can go about fixing, uh, getting rid of the background. The first thing you can do is the magic cutout. If there's something that is pretty boring behind you, you can just click magic cutout and it will start eliminating what's behind you. Problem is sometimes it will eliminate parts of the photo you want to keep. Um, another thing you could do is the drawing cutout. And if you use the size, some of you have touch screen or you should have a touch screen Chromebook. You could just scroll in and use your finger and trace carefully around your face and body. And it gives just a little bit of a soft edge that gives you kind of a, um, and you can move down. This gives you a soft edge as well as a buffer. So when you want to erase more, you can take your hardness up to full and change, change your size. And then you can start erasing more away from you. So that's one way to go about it. And you notice I do kind of a decent job. The other thing you can do is this lasso cutout, which is kind of fun. And so this one, you're just kind of carefully tracing in chunks. And then I kind of do a circle. And it starts eliminating parts of the photo that you don't want. Like that. So that's another way you can cut out the background. And so depending how comfortable you are and how smooth you can make it go, you have to understand I've had a lot of practice in this, you can then cut out your background in different ways. So notice I've got my background cut out now. And down here in the left hand corner, if you if you kind of like accidentally cut too much of a chunk off, you can go to keep and then replace what it is you accidentally removed. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my lasso tool and just do really big chunks now. Oops, make sure you hit remove. So I'm going to take really big chunks out now. Technically, I could probably just do my no softness size and then just erase my whole background. So the point being for this is you're going to be able to put yourself in behind or in front of a really cool background that is not the school to help add fun to your mask photo. Because this is going to be something fun that we're putting in the yearbook. We want it to look really funky. So... Oops, see, like right there. Hit Control Z if you make a mistake. Sometimes it's okay just to click once around when you're closest to you. There we go. Oops. Uh, that's okay for now. Clicking and erasing. There we go. Ta -da. All right, my background is gone. So there I am, just like that. So. What you could also do is then crop your photo so you are just like this. And then you can uh, save it and just make sure it's a PNG. And you can just meme it cut out. That way you can upload it later. So now that you've got your cutout, what you could do is go home and open up a new. So you can create new. And then you can do something like Ultra HD or Square. Let's do ultra square, make it like an Instagram post and just create. And now you've got a checkered background, which is a blank background. So the first thing you can do is you could add an image. Now we have stock images that we can pull from. And if you want to pull something like a texture or an actual background, like fish, because you love fish, and you think that's kind of fun. Or if you want to do like water, you can find something that's really cool that you could use. Sometimes I like to type in texture and see what comes up. And sometimes the backgrounds they get are pretty, like kind of nondescript, but really cool. Like this one's awesome, abstract blood vein. So we'll use that one because it's real funky. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to add to current. We don't ever want to create nil. And notice over here on the right, what we've got going on here is layers. And so what we want to do is make use of those layers. And anytime I create something, we're going to add a layer. So now I'm going to add me. So I go to browse and then where my downloads are, I'm going to get my picture that I just cut out and I'm going to add to current. And now I'm on top of the layer and then I can make myself larger. And there I am. I'm in the cool, I've got a really cool background, but that's not all. Maybe you want to do some cool things with the photo. So now what we can do is you always want to use your arrow key and select the layer you want to work with. And say for some reason, I want to kind of play around and um, make half my face disappear. So I'm going to do the scissor tool again, and I'm going to just use my lasso cutout and I'm going to just remove a part of my face like that. And it did not work because I probably didn't, I didn't click the right thing. I removed the wrong thing. So make sure you're on the right, right layer and I'm going to remove my face, part of it, kind of make it kind of fun and abstracty. There I am. And what I can do now is I can go into my paintbrush, which is drawing and I can do shapes or I can draw and I can add a new layer, which will be empty. And I'm going to make sure that layer is underneath my face, but in front of the cool background. And I can change the color to something that's kind of funky, maybe like the red. And I can change the size of my brush, the softness. And for now, I'm going to move it to the top. And I'm going to color just a little bit around outside the circle. There we go. And then I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Take my softness away. And then fill in the paint. Fill in the circle here. And then I can take that and send it to the back. Um, and that fills in that circle. What's fun about this though is you can also play around with these blend modes. And the blend modes are these funky settings that are very Photoshop-y that allow you to, with a click of the button, completely change what the photo looks like. And so with that shape, I'm going to do a cool screen and have fun with that. Now in the assignment I've got posted for you, you're going to have a couple links. So maybe I want to play around with an eye. And so in our assignment, the mass photo assignment, you can um, use something called Pixabay. And it has images and art that you could use for free at no cost and it's um, copyright free. So I'm going to type in an I and see what I get. And I might like like one of these kind of kind of an interesting eye. Like this eyeball is kind of fun. So I'm going to download the green eyeball. And I want this checkered background behind my image that I download. And I am not a robot. And just save it. So you can save whatever you find on your Chromebook. And you're going to go to this picture here browse and I'm going to upload my eyeball and I'm going to pick add uh, create new or add to current and it's going to pop it in a new layer and because of that I can shrink it down and move it right here and I can even put it underneath the picture or I can have it go on top if I want to play around with the screen and stuff so isn't that kind of fun um, so he, this version's actually kind of turning a little bit spooky, but the idea though is you're having some fun. You can draw some lines and stuff if you have the touch screen, which is really nice. You can make the size of your uh, pen really small, add a new layer and put it on top. And you can even like kind of do some cool sketches on some of like the examples if you like and even like add some lines and some splashes next to you. And other things you could do with this photo is I would click on the layer of my picture and we can change some of the filters and stuff. So you can um, adjust the temperature, tint, hue, and I can change my colors so I'm not necessarily like normal colors, which that's a lot of fun. Uh, you can change the temperature so you can kind of play around with the colors you can do filters. 
Um, these filters are cool too, like Glamour and Bloom and Posterize. You just have to give yourself a couple seconds. So when you do it, it has to like, you know, sometimes it's really quick and sometimes it takes a moment uh, to make the filter happen. It'll kind of freeze up your Pixlr like mine's happening. There you go. And if you don't like any of that, you can cancel it. Um, or just go back to normal, which I should be able to cancel it, but my menu is hiding my cancel. So, oops. Um, there you have it. So you can do different things here. You add images, add elements. You've got some shapes and stickers that you can place in there. If it has a yellow box next to it, you can't use those because they those cost. But um, they're for pro. They don't cost. They're just for people who have paid accounts. But some of these um, dust and grads are cool, meaning gradients. And you can like make that transparent. And you can even give that like a funky screen or a darken or an overlay. So just play around. And what you're going to create is a fun mask photo that we'll turn in and put on our mask page.